I got asked to react to this when your plastic bottle finally degrades. Is it going to go into that uh, that future party oh, later God. tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's just called What's his name? Uh, Ryan, right? that's right. Oh, yeah, you know what? I guess you're right. Oh, hello? Oh, my God. I fucking love this guy. God. What's going on? Oh, my. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. What's Who is that? You know that plastic bottle that our great 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 grandfather Jimmy drank from one time? No, it's dead. Okay. It died. Of what? Old age. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that checks out. We gotta go to the funeral. We do? We gotta go pay our respects. Where is that even being held? At the giant floating island of trash in the ocean. What is happening? That's the size of Australia now? All right, fine, we'll go. That's a very anachronistic phone you've got, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I gotta upgrade it. Let's go. Is that the Mandalorian ship? <laughs> Thank you all for coming today to remember the life of our dearly departed friend Frank the Plastic Bottle. Is that a tire? Is that a tire that's, that's on a, fire? Or that. yeah, that's tire on fire. He's doing the eulogy. It says. Okay. Back in the early 2020s, some fossil what fuels were heated happening? up and broken down and heated up again and poured into a mold, and that's how Frank came to be. Is that how plastic bottles are made? Shh. Okay, easy there, Red Solo Cup. Everybody who knew Frank <laughs> back then knew he was filled to the brim with a joie de vivre and also, you know, a considerable amount of orange soda. Why are we here? He just had <laughs> such a bubbly personality, you know? It was full of carbonated liquid. Dude! Hey man, can you show some respect? You're a literal bag of trash. Takes one to know one. Oh, 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 I just got owned by a trash bag. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, moving on. One of the best moments of Frank's life was undoubtedly the day that a guy named Jimmy decided he wanted some orange soda with the fried chicken wrap he ordered. Oh, hey! Dude, you are embarrassing me in front of the garbage. Frank and Jimmy got very close <laughs> that day, but suffice it to say, when they separated, Frank was left feeling pretty empty. <laughs> you can just throw that anywhere. Oh, thanks, little plastic straw. No problem. This is insane. One of Frank's yeah, best friends at the landfill was a plastic straw named Alexander, who of course, plastic straws have a notoriously short lifespan of about 200 years. Oh no, little plastic straw! It's true. Another one of Frank's years. friends was one of those things that holds six packs together, who of course left Frank when he got stuck on the face of a sea turtle. Frank didn't have it easy. I mean, that's kind of saddest for the turtle, no? Frank is gone. <laughs> Yep. but not forgotten. <laughs> and his legacy lives on. In fact, Jimmy's great 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 grandsons are here with us today. Hi. Hi. Maybe they'll carry on Jimmy and Frank's legacy by throwing a plastic bottle of their own into the trash one day. That's a nice thought. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably not cuz I recycle. Why would you say that? Okay, this guy's a monster. You're trash. You're trash. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about- Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Mermanstronaut. What? I'm down here what in the, the ocean to talk that? to you about Ren, the Mermanstronaut. So hey, a lot of the planet is kind of a mess, and the climate crisis is giving me a lot of anxiety. And it can be overwhelming to try doing anything about it. It's just the Mermanstronaut, that's barely wordplay. Well, as it that turns out, Ren is a great place to start doing something about it. After you answer a few questions on Ren's website, they'll be able to tell you your carbon footprint footprint and ways you can reduce it. Then Ren Jesus. lets you offset what's left by contributing to projects around the world that are fighting oh, climate cool. change on high levels, like protecting rainforests. Why would he have Stranaut in his name? That doesn't make sense, like, conceptually I agree. even. I Not agree. only is Ren tackling the climate crisis by encouraging people to live sustainably and by crowdfunding climate solutions, they're also pushing for the major government changes that are really needed to fight climate change. And once you sign up and start contributing, they'll send you monthly updates uh, about the projects closer. you're supporting, like closer. planting trees and sucking carbon out of the sky. You can start helping out today by learning more on Ren.co. I've also partnered cool. with Ren to plant 10 extra trees for the first 100 people to sign up using my referral link. Adquaman. That was right there. Why isn't that Adqu his name? Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. <laughs> like, okay. That was, uh, that was really good though. <laughs> I, I, I am subbed to Ryan George, but I don't I don't blind react to his stuff enough. Like, oh shit, what's my stuff doing? Oh. There we go. Much better. I don't look so blurry. But yeah, no, that was good. I like that one. Uh, when your plastic puddle finally degrades. <laughs> That's amazing. My 